Good day, parents and guardians. I want to thank all of you for your support over the last 10, 11 months with COVID-19. These definitely have been unprecedented times. And I know, I know the hardship that this has placed on many of you in terms of having to navigate new environments and deal with issues that you could never ever have imagined. Please know that I care very, very much about all of you and especially your children, kindergarten through 12th grade, even our preschoolers here. We did survey and the results are very clear that around 70% of you will send your children back to school. 30% are saying that they would not send their children back to school given the current status. That's about 1,380 children. 400 of those children have compromised immune systems. And I'm gonna make this very clear to you. you know, as a father, uh, I wouldn't care what the statistics say. One one thousandth of a percent chance of COVID hitting your family or your child, having a compromised immune system, I would never take a chance on that. I would never take a crapshoot on any child's life, yours or mine. With that though, please know that we are poised to stream our classes to those homes of those children whose parents have decided that it's probably not the best situation for them to be here in person. Streaming will be just like sitting in the classroom. Our teachers are dedicated. They will provide instruction to the various highest levels and you'll be able to receive that instruction as if you were sitting right there in the classroom. Not only am I concerned about the children that cannot come back and those that have decided to stay home, but it's our adults as well. I care very much about our principals, our teachers, our cafeteria workers, our secretaries, our maintenance personnel, our ed assistants. Everyone is part of our school district deserves and must be in a safe and lear learning environment. And that's the key. We have to bring everybody back knowing that it is safe. I want our children back in school right now. The CDC has come out and said, well, children should be back in school if they wear a mask and they safe distance. Well, we all know that, and so do the parents know that. We are listening to the World Health Organization and Dr. Fauci as well. I'm very concerned about COVID-19 and these new strains that are coming out. With all this being said, there is no question in my mind that we can and will be able to get our children back to school, but not at this moment. You see, we had 83 of our staff affected by COVID-19, symptomatic, asymptomatic, directly identified having COVID-19 at the end of the first marking period. We would have only been in school for about six weeks because we brought the children in uh, probably much, uh, much longer than six weeks. At the end of the second marking period, or rather June, uh, January the 10th, we had 202 employees that were affected by COVID-19. And today, February the 8th, we have 238. We would not be able to staff our buildings safely with those kind of numbers still ravaging our community and our staff and faculty. Also, vaccinations. We've been a little slow in Berks County out of the starting gate. And as today, about 20,000 are partially immunized. We polled our staff and an overwhelming majority of our staff say that they will get inoculated. That is very encouraging because it also provides a safe environment for them as well. With that being said, I'm hoping that these first and second shots can happen at a better rate than what it is currently uh, happening. But that also is a critical component to us coming back to school. Once again, I'd love for us to be back in right away, uh, but safe for everyone, children, 
and the adults some key factors, getting everyone inoculated who chooses to get inoculated. We can't make anybody get inoculated with, a, uh, with the either Pfizer or a Moderna and some of the other new vaccinations that are arriving. But that's very important because we can't bring children back if we don't have the staff here to provide the services for them safely. Once again, I'd never take a crapshoot on a child's life ever whatever the data says it's not worth it it's much more important that you are on this side and with that we value life and those of our children than to take a crapshoot at, at any other time i'm convinced we will be able to get back in school here and our school board has an awesome responsibility to make the right decision my recommendation will be authentic and based on fact and for the safety of everyone. At this moment in time, it's not possible to bring our children back, but we are poised and ready. I want you to check our website. Our website will show you the hybrid schedules that are ready to implement when we're able to bring our children back. We are poised, we are ready, we are postured to mobilize. All we need is for the environment to be safe. I'm convinced that that will happen. I'm convinced that we need for that to happen. For the sake of our children, for the sake of our country, for the sake of their lives, their welfare, and their ability to engage in a life that they so much deserve. Steady as she goes. Hold the line. Please keep the faith. There is light at the end of this tunnel. We will beat this pandemic and we will do everything in our power to help our children succeed. And we will do it safely. And that includes all of our adults as well. God bless you.